today we are going to explore installing step footings into our model using out of the box Revit tools. We're going to open up a new model. I'm in 2014. And at this point, as I open up, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select the structural wall for foundation. Make sure that I have the depth setting, chain. I'm going to select the foundation wall, and just for today, I'm just going to sketch a simple box. Please notice that nothing shows up. It's because I am out of my view range. Hit modify. I'm going to come over to my properties box and adjust my view range. My view range, I'll set the view depth to the level below, and apply, and there are my foundation walls that I just drew. I'm going to change my detail level to medium and I'm going to come up here and switch on my 3D view. And there are my walls that I've created. Now I'm going to add footings underneath these walls. I'm going to come in here to my structural tab, select footing under the wall, make sure I have the correct one. And just by selecting the wall, it automatically gives me a footing. However, we're on a, let's pretend we're on a sloped site and we need to step our footings. The easiest way to do that is to come up here and hit modify and use our split element or we could type SL. I'm going to split my walls in a couple of locations. Hit modify to exit out of that command. I'm going to select a wall. Now I could use the grips to drag it down to the proper height or with a little more control I can step these by coming over to the property and adjusting the property. I'm going to make this one 14 and I'll make this one 14 as well. And this one I'll take this back up to 13. We're basically sloping on the corner here, and so you can see our footing steps down as we need it to. Now how do I make a step footing? How do I make these look joint? I will highlight the footing, and I'll come over here to edit type. I'll select edit type, and right here you'll see default and extension length. Over here, I'll add, make it one foot, and hit apply, and OK. And look at that. It automatically healed and extended the footing one foot so that now we have a continuous stepped footing. This is great because it already has the parameters of the footing, so our area takeoffs and our quantity takeoffs will be accurate. And that is a way how we can do step footings using our structural footings and our structural foundation walls. Rev it out of the box without having to create custom families. Thank you.